Hi, and welcome to Leadership with Miss Snuffy, episode six. I'm in, even though it's half term, doing a bit of work, so I thought I'd make one of these uh, to talk about uh, Musa Morega and um, his uh, experience on the pitch last yesterday and walking off because of the racism that he experienced, mainly because of conversations I've been having on Twitter. But the what, what's come clear to me is the distinction between uh, stoicism, being stoical when things are difficult, even when it's difficult, especially when it's difficult, you push on through. This is a real value here at Michaela. And then also, how much do you put up with? You know, do you, do you put up with racism? Do you, just, do you just never try and change anything because you're always stoical and you just keep moving forward? There needs to be a balance, as with anything. And um, what I've, uh, not that I know much about football, but I need to show you actually here, you see in my office there, uh, we've got Gareth Southgate. That was um, Gareth Southgate in uh, the World Cup. He um, he was hugging the Colombian football player who had missed the penalty, uh, and and the game had gone to to England. And uh, Gareth Southgate went and comforted him. And um, I take a real interest. I mean, I don't really like football, but I take an interest in the in leadership in football, uh, just because I think it's very similar to leadership anywhere else. And um, and I think uh, yesterday with Musa Morega, uh, there was just a lack of leadership there. So it's not that uh, the football players are bad guys, not at all. Uh, I understand why in the moment, one of my Twitter followers pointed out to me that uh, footballers are hardwired to want to win the game. So in that moment, that's all they're thinking about. And, and that's right. I understand that. I don't blame those guys. But when we do the autopsy and we look back and we think, well, what should have happened? That's when uh, those of us who are wanting to make the world into a better place might conclude it would have been better had both teams, not just one team actually, and again it was a Twitter follower who pointed this out to me, all the people on the pitch should have marched out together and said no. Um, and that strength, that would have been so powerful uh, in, in the game of football because if football is something that really needs changing nowadays, um, I mean, it's always needed changing, but it, it, it's, 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 it's one of the big things left where you see really obvious racism that um, has, 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 uh, has been achieved elsewhere. And, um, and we should be doing something about it. Uh, and I was really shocked, actually, to see followers of mine and, and, and um, uh, various people on Twitter saying things like, well, he was weak and mocking him and saying how awful it was. He should have just been stoical in the moment. Or people saying, oh, there were financial reasons why, you know, a game needs to continue. And I mentioned Rosa Parks and said, yeah, well, there were financial implications for the bus service too. In fact, thank goodness there were. <laughs> That's the whole point. Uh, you stand up to something when it's wrong. Uh, because not only is stoicism a value that we really push here at Michaela, but we also push the, the concept of duty. We all have a duty, I think, to make the world into a better place. And sometimes that means doing the more difficult thing. All those players marching off in that moment, it would have been doing something even when it's difficult, especially when it's difficult. And, um, and it's that balance for stoicism, right? Where, where, do, you, where do you draw the line? Uh, and especially in the, the woke days of 2020, I can see why um, some people think, oh, well, oh, you know, you, you should never be, you, sh you should never see racism. Um, you should always just keep going and that's it. And I do say always keep going, um, but you need to keep going down the right path. Uh, one, of my, um, one of my colleagues, this quote here, um, which I think is wonderful by C.S. Lewis, it says, we all want progress but progress means getting nearer to the place where you want to be. And if you have taken a wrong turning, then to go forward does not get you any nearer. If you are on the wrong road, progress means doing an about turn and walking back to the right road. And in that case, the man who turns back soonest is the most progressive man. Like I said, that's from C.S. Lewis. Um, and so it's not always just about blindly going on, even though I'm all about keep on going, hold the line and all of that stuff. Sometimes you need to think, oh, maybe not, maybe this. You know, and, and it's, I meet with my senior team every single day and, and we go back on decisions we've made constantly. So many times I couldn't possibly list them all. Uh, we try new things out, doesn't work, we try something else. Um, that is leadership. 
And what was missing yesterday on that football pitch was somebody being a leader and saying, we're marching out with him. And if one of them had done it, the rest of them would have followed. Uh, and that's what was missing. So people who are saying, yeah, but there were black players who, who, who wanted him to continue. Yeah, they also made a mistake. I mean, I say made a mistake. The fact is they were rudderless. Nobody was leading the team in what would have been the right thing to do. But when we look back now, and analyze it. That's what's important, that we should all recognize that the best outcome would have been all of them marching out because that would have made the world into a better place. Believe in stoicism, but also believe in duty. Uh, duty is something we really push hard at Michaela, uh, that you have a, a, a duty to, to the world, to, to the future world, so that people who follow you can find the world in, 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 a, in, a, in a better situation to the one that you found it. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, sto where do, where do, how do you balance it, you know? At what point do you say, no, it's, it's hard to know. I mean, it is hard to know. Uh, I would say that um, if it's a personal thing, then maybe sometimes you let it go. But if it's, if it's a big thing that is representative of something that is endemic in your organization or in, in society, that's something that you need to fight uh, to make the world better, then that is where stoicism is no longer something that, you know, duty trumps stoicism is what I'd say. Uh, I hope that makes sense. It's hard because, of course, you need specific examples. Uh, once I was on a ferry going to France with some black boys, mainly black boys and a couple of white boys, but these black boys were wandering around um, the ferry shop and uh, they were behaving themselves. I very st high standards of behavior, just need to trust me on that. And the two security guards were um, watching them, following them, the kind of thing that happens to young black men all of the time, even now in 2020. I mean, this was ages ago. And um, I went to the security guard and I said, no, you know, and, and, and I, 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 I didn't call him a racist or anything, but I just made it clear that I thought his behavior was unacceptable in a very polite way. Um, and that, that, was, that was powerful. But what was even more powerful was when my white male colleague came and stood next to me and we both made that point. Um, you're more powerful together. I always say at Michaela, we row together. Um, and one of the biggest things that makes for our success here at Michaela is the consistency that you see across the school. And it's that consistency that I would have liked to have seen from the players last night with, 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 with Musa. So there we go. Um, I meant to say something that I've learned. Um, well, you know, this Twitter thing on this on this whole situation has made me realize that um, people are very binary about these things when it comes to race. Uh, they, they don't see the grays in between. And um, that's a bit sad because life is full of grays. It's what makes it beautiful. All right. Thanks.